Yes, Brittany Griner is back in the U.S. tonight, and the White House confirms she has been reunited with her wife. We want to celebrate her and celebrate her return, and I know the Phoenix community wants to do the same. Tonight, Griner is in Texas, where officials say she's in good spirits and good health. Now out of Russia, we're learning about life in prison. Her attorney says Griner carried fabric throughout the work camp because she was just too tall for the work tables. She had to cut her hair because those dreads would freeze in the Russian winter and give her chills. While there are a lot of unknowns as to what's next for Brittany Griner, the Phoenix Mercury says they're ready to support her and give her any help she might need as she adjusts back to life free from Russia. I spoke with head coach Vanessa Nygaard about what this whole process has been like since the day they found out that BG was taken into custody. It's been a roller coaster of emotions for Phoenix Mercury head coach Vanessa Nygaard since she woke up to the news that after 10 months in Russian custody, WNBA star Brittany Griner was free. Real joy. We are all so happy to hear of her return. And the moment it happened, it was such a relief for so many people. I know I started crying. I know many people also had that, that sense of relief and that sense of joy. And um, we're just so happy that she's home. Nygaard had just been named head coach and within weeks got the news BG was detained for having vape cartridges containing cannabis oil in her luggage. This is an unprecedented situation, so we really didn't know what that meant. Unfortunately, a couple of weeks later, a couple of days later, the Ukrainian war broke out, and so the whole situation changed. So the Mercury had to take the court without the WNBA's most dominant player, but still a huge part of them. Putting all the basketball part aside, it was extremely stressful on our team and our players, uh, constantly worrying about their friends, uh, constantly being asked questions about it, but also wanting to amplify the message to keep the attention on it, while at the same time processing their own feelings about it. It's got to be heartbreaking for you to watch the whole process, watch her behind those bars, yeah. watch her going through the court proceedings. How do you energize your team coming off watching something like that and then to help get them back on the court and focus. Yeah, it was challenging all year, but one of the most difficult situations, we had a game at Connecticut when uh, BG's sentence came down. And it came down as we were preparing to go out to shoot around for the game. And just the rest of that day, it just didn't matter. Nobody wanted to even play today. How can you, how are you supposed to approach the game, approach the court and, and, and with a clear mind and the whole group is crying before the game? because you try to honor her. It's just a situation that no one's ever had to deal with. And so as a team, as an organization, we did our best to provide mental health support for our players. And the Phoenix Mercury plan to continue that support in whatever way BG may need. We're going to make sure that she has everything that she needs that we can provide. Nygaard also with this message for those who have been critical of Griner and the prisoner swap to bring her home. Uh, unfortunately, there's been some backlash sure. uh, with the release of BG. Many people uh, chiming in on social media. Yeah. A lot of people saying, um, you know, why her? She doesn't like this country. How would you address something like that? Yeah, you know, I, I'm so caught up in the joy of the moment that a lot of that doesn't register with me. But also through this process, I've learned about the Presidential Special Envoy for Hostage Affairs, this group of great patriots that work so hard to bring back wrongfully detained Americans all over the world. And to learn about that and to, to disrespect BG's return is disrespecting these patriots who have been working so hard to make sure she's returned quickly. And now that she's home, Coach Nygaard hopes people will respect who she is, not only on the court, but off it. I don't know. She's a wonderful person and she's a human and we're all the same. Everybody deserves to be treated with love and respect and kindness. And right now, BG needs all of our love. You know, I also asked whether they would see her back on the court sometime yeah, soon. Yeah, a lot and of people wondering about that. A lot of people that. wondering. Uh, they said, really, at this point, uh, of course, they have open arms, but it's totally up to her and what she wants to do moving forward. Yeah, we want to give her lots of time, but we would love to see her back on the court yeah. for sure.